Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to talk about alt masking. Alt masking only comes in two different strobes that Godox produces, the 600 and the 200. Today we're going to be using the 200. I have two videos, one out for the 600 and one out for synchronizing the 200s. Please watch those if you don't understand how to synchronize and set up your custom functions uh, to do the alt masking. This is basically just explaining what it does and how it's doing it. Here in the back, we have a 200. It's set to N1 in the alt mask function. So it's gonna fire and blow out the background. That's what its only job to do. Here we have <clears throat> a 200 in a cheetah lantern. Its job is just to illuminate the subject. This is my main light. This is my background light and basically this background light is becoming a mask for the action that I built. So when this one fires, it only fires the background and it, it fires this one, then it fires this one, fires this one, fires this one, fires this one, fires this one. Okay, let's get to it. Here I have a tethering screen right here. So we'll look at the tethering screen. Um, it's gonna fire the background first. Here it, we can look at the tethering screen. This background is white and our subject is in a silhouette. There is some jewelry showing, but that's easy to brush out and fix right before you make the mask. All right, next shot. <clears throat> this one is perfectly illuminating the subject. This is light here is firing down here. This lantern produces a beautiful soft light. It's kind of illuminating the background which is okay because it's making that white background into um, gray and blending. If, you, if you're used to blending modes in Photoshop, you'll know gray actually produces the best blending uh, for composites. All right, so let's fire a little bit faster. Now, my computer is not staying up with the firing but it is keeping in track in the camera just so you know so i am making a mask firing with the background and i am illuminating my subject so i will have perfectly balanced uh, images as well as perfectly masked out images in photoshop so if the model's moving pose to pose you're, all you have to do is go like this. She can keep moving as long as she stays in time. Your mask and your main light will always keep in sync. Again, this is Alt Masking. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching. This is my companion video to follow up with the video I just did. So here are two of the images that you would have saw in the tether screen. I have, I labeled them one and two, so I wouldn't get messed up. You don't have to label them. I just label mine for this video. I'm gonna go to my actions. I'm gonna go to invert and select. I'm gonna hit play. That one's done. I'm gonna come over here and hit dupe and hit play. Let's throw a pattern up here. Go to my, it's always my default pattern here. So let's scale this one up. It's a little bright. I'm going to pull some light out of it. And I'm going to put a drop shadow on this one. And kind of right there. And voila. Simple and easy. Alt masking with the 200X also can be done with the 600X. Again, my name is Shams Photography, and this is a companion video and the follow up. Thank you for watching.